Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And here we have a great article from T Mobile's newsroom. And this one is actually by Neville Ray. And this is about nothing but the network more 5G for more Americans. Now, the title, huh? More 5G. I mean, it's really just more network, more spectrum that they want to put on air. So I will leave this article in the description so you guys could check it out. But I wanted to talk about the reason for this article is because the spectrum that T-Mobile has purchased outright and won in auction 108 is still not cleared. So that's what he's talking about in this article. He's saying we need it. We need to put it on air. It's going to bring more services to rural America. And of course, fixed wireless access is in the mix as well. So I want to show the map that's on this article. This map is a representation of areas that they can light up instantly. So that whole area that you're seeing all this magenta, those are areas where they already have the 2.5 radios deployed. And they can... I don't think it'll be a flip of a switch. The engineers are still going to have to do a few things, but they can just about immediately launch this. Maybe within a few days, once they tune and everything, they can launch 2.5 in that entire geographic area that you see in magenta. And in some of those areas, it's literally, they go from zero to 80, 100, however much they want in that county. There are some counties on this graph where T-Mobile has zero megahertz of 2.5. In others, you know, they go from 20 maybe to 60, 60 to 120, just depends, right? I don't have the breakdown right now, but they are highlighting this because it's literally already built. They just need to get clearance. So you can see up in Maine, that's very rural. They have 2.5 there. And many other areas. I see Montana up there, South Dakota, North Dakota. So that may be the reason why some of these areas aren't as expansive on um, on 2.5 because they are waiting for clearance. That could be very well a reason. And, and keep in mind, keep in mind, T-Mobile has more 2.5. The actual winnings from Auction 108, that map is way larger. This is just a representation of where they can make use of that license from auction 108 immediately, right? So there's more that they can go build in the future in other counties where they also have 2.5, but they haven't yet laid the radios. So, so keep that in mind as you're looking at this map. This is not the map, the, the map of all the 2.5 that they won, no. This is just a representation of where they can make use of 2.5 immediately. So just wanted to share that with you. Like I said, I'll leave this article in the description so you guys can check it out. Very interesting read. Again, this is very important for T-Mobile. They are trying to build a powerhouse network. They are trying to maintain the 5G lead. And this is going to bring them a step closer to being able to maintain the 5G lead. They want to get into these deep rural areas. They want to get those sites uh, turned on with 2.5 because it's going to help the business. Of course, it, it's going to be in the, the best interest of the business, but it also helps the consumer. It helps close the digital divide. It brings fixed wireless access. So this is, this is a big step in the right direction for T-Mobile. And it looks like they are going to fight in congress so make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel for more like share subscribe follow my social media outlets this is tyrone with tech life see y'all in the next one peace